Radio Beaverton here, presenting the top 10 ca aircraft carriers of World War II. Now, before anyone gets too excited, this is just my list and my crazy video. So, um, argue all you want in the comments, though, uh, but try not to take it too personal. All right. At number 10, we start counting backwards, is the USS Yorktown. USS Yorktown unfortunately did not survive the war, but still gets on the list at number 10 for a very good service for really fighting to the end. Uh, Yorktown was commissioned in 1937, carried 90 aircraft. Uh, Yorktown uh, met her end on June 7, 1942 at the Battle of Midway. Yorktown was uh, awarded three battle stars uh, and the American Defense Service Medal. Major engagements for the Yorktown were Coral Sea and Midway. Uh, the Yorktown survived uh, major air attacks at Midway. Uh, they were trying to save her. They were trying to salvage the wreck. Uh, unfortunately, she was torpedoed uh, by a Japanese submarine while trying to escape. Number nine, USS Saratoga. USS Saratoga was commissioned in 1927 carried 78 aircraft, was quite a, the, one of the older uh, aircraft carriers on this list, survived the war though. Uh, fate, Saratoga was sunk in an atomic bomb test at the Bikini Atoll in 1946. Uh, Saratoga served in such places as Guadalcanal, Eastern Solomons, Bougainville, Marshall Islands, Ulithi, and was awarded eight battle stars after the war. Uh, trivia here, after the nuclear test, they reboarded the Saratoga to see what effects the radiation had. Yes, this was in the 50s when they used to do explode bombs over infantrymen and had no idea of the long-term effects of radiation. So these poor guys that had to go back on the Saratoga after the nuclear blast to see what it looked like. Well, I... Number eight, from the British, HMS Illustrious. Carried 33 aircraft at the beginning of the war, through upgrades ended up carrying 57. Commissioned in 1940, uh, Illustrious survived the war to be scrapped in 1956. Major engagements were Toronto, the Mediterranean Theater, Malta, Diego Suarez, Salerno, Sabang, Palembang, and Okinawa. Illustrious is on this list mainly because Illustrious was the first aircraft carrier in history to launch an airstrike against other ships, sink at the Battle of Toronto, sinking an Italian battleship. Number seven. Number seven and number six are actually kind of tied. They are the sister ships from the Japanese Imperial Navy, the Shokaku and the Juikaku. They were sister ships. Uh, they were engaged in almost every engagement from Pearl Harbor onward until 1942. Uh, I put Juikaku at seven and Shokaku at six. Juikaku was commissioned in 1941, sunk at the Battle of Leyte Gulf on the 25th of October, 1944, Major engagements were Pearl Harbor, Coral Sea, Guadalcanal, Santa Cruz Island, Eastern Solomons, and the Philippine Sea. Juikaku was the last of the six aircraft carriers that struck Pearl Harbor to be sunk. They were the last survivors of Kito Butai. Number six is the Shokaku, carries 72 aircraft, commissioned in 1941. Fate sunk on June 19, 1944 by a United States submarine USS Cavalli. Major engagements included Pearl Harbor, Rabaul, Indian Ocean Raids, Coral Sea, Santa Cruz, the Mariana Islands, and the Battle of the Philippines. Uh, the Shokaku was at number six mainly because she was in on the destruction of two U.S. carriers directly involved in the sinking of the USS Lexington and the USS Hornet, among other things. Number five, we're back to the British, HMS Victorious. Carried 36 aircraft at the beginning of the war, upgraded to carry 54. Commissioned in 1941, she, was, she survived the war and was scrapped in 1969. Major engagements included hunting of the Bismarck, the Arctic convoys, Balta, Operation Torch, New Georgia, the attack on the Tirpitz, Sumatra, Okinawa, Bis the, Bis the Bay of Biscay. That's a little bit out of order because you'll notice that they start off in Europe going to the and Sabang. Victorious also had an interesting bit of trivia. After the Hornet was sunk, leaving the USS Enterprise alone in the Pacific, she was actually sent to reinforce the Americans. Uh, she was 
renamed the USS Robin in a code name, so that I guess I don't know the U.S. Navy couldn't stand to call her the Victorious. I guess uh, she was sent to the Pacific. She was refitted. She got American aircraft uh, because the American carrier aircraft were a little better than the British carrier aircraft. Although the land situation is probably the opposite. She was refitted, served there shortly, went back to Europe, then came back after the war in Europe ended to fight further in the Pacific. Number four is the USS Lexington, the CV-16. That's the second Lexington, not the one sunk at Coral Sea. She carried 110 aircraft, commissioned in 1942. She was decommissioned in 1947, but then recommissioned between 1955 and 1991 as a training carrier. She was awarded 11 battle slots, the Presidential Unit Citation, and served at Tarawa, the Gilbert Islands, Kalajalein, Philippine Sea, Leyte Gulf, South China Sea. She was nicknamed the Blue Ghost and Lady Lex. She is now a museum ship in Corpus Christi, Texas, so you can actually go visit the USS Lexington CB-60. She was originally going to be called the USS Cabot, but named after the original Lexington, the CV-2, which was lost at the Coral Sea. Number three, with 12 battle stars and a presidential unit citation, is the USS Bella Wood. The Bella Wood is the only light carrier on this list. Commissioned in 1943, she carried 33 aircraft and survived the war to be scrapped in 1960. Major engagements were include Tarawa, Wake Islands, Gilbert Islands, Kwajalein, Majuro, the Marshall Islands, Saipan, Guam, Palau, New Guinea, and the Philippine Sea. She was sold to the French in 1953, saw action under the French, uh, mainly in Algeria during the Algerian co uh, conflicts, returned to the U.S. and scrapped in 1960. Number two, back to the British, the HMS Ark Royal. This one is number two, even though the Ark Royal didn't survive the war, she was sunk in 1941, uh, she was involved heavily in the early part of the war, uh, got a lot of fame in the newspapers, did a lot of stuff, basically really burned the candle bright, unfortunately, met her end to a U-boat. Commissioned in 1938, uh, she was sunk by the U-boat U-81. Major engagements include Norway, Spartavento, the Mediterranean, and the chasing of the Bismarck and the Malta convoy. Airstrikes from the Ark Royal fatally crippled the German battleship Bismarck. Ark Royal swordfish put a torpedo into her rudder, jamming it in a hard right turn so that all she could do was go in circles until the British arrived to do her in. Also, Ark Royal, another piece of fame is, Ark Royal's planes were the first aircraft to shoot down an enemy aircraft in the entire war. Three of Ark Royal's skuas intercepted a Dornier DO-18 seaplane and shot her down. Also, another thing Ark Royal did, which is another first, uh, they sunk the first U-boat of the war, U-39. And number one, the number one aircraft carrier of World War II with 20 battle stars and too many awards to mention, including the British Admiralty Bennett, is the USS Enterprise, CV-6. Commissioned in 1938, she was scrapped in 1958 after a long campaign to try to set her up as a museum ship. She was awarded 20 battle stars, served all over the Pacific, at one point Enterprise was the only aircraft carrier in the Pacific fighting the Japanese. And that was in mid to late 1942. Awards include the Presidential Unit Citation, the Navy Unit Commendation, a British Admiralty Pennant, and six others. Major engagements include Pearl Harbor, Midway, Guadalcanal, South Pacific, Philippine Sea, and the Leyte Gulf. But basically Enterprise was everywhere. Everywhere the American fleets went, Enterprise was there. There was a short period where she was refitted, remodeled, uh, re-updated with new technology. But after that, she was everywhere. Nicknames included the Big E, the Lucky E, the Grey Ghost, and the Galloping Ghost. Enterprise pr participated in the Doolittle Raid, escorting USS Hornet, which actually launched the bombers. Enemy ships that were sunk by Enterprise aircraft include the Japanese vessels Kaga, Akagi, and Ryuji were all aircraft carriers. Partial credit given for the Hiyo, Shokaku, and the Taiko. And that includes the list. 
Thank you for watching and have a good day.